Hello guys, another weekend, another video and last weekend I have promised that this week I am going to come up with something really cool. So let's go and have a look at the video that I have for you. So guys, this week, what are we going to have a look at? What do we want to show you? So we riders, we are always excited about the weekends. Every weekend we are like, when is it going to be a Saturday or when is it going to be a Sunday and we will ride off to the sunset. <laughs> we all are excited, we all know. So, there's, a, but there's something which is very, very important, uh, which we all must do. I think we should inculcate that habit in our uh, weekends uh, before we go for the ride and that's called a 90 second pre-check this 90 second pre-check is critical because uh, we want to make sure that we don't get strangled we didn't meet with an accident god forbid but make sure that our machines are all right and you know in, in right shape and right condition to take us for that ride see it's a man and machine uh, ballet I call it a ballet you and your machine become apart when you're on the highway when you're together I love my machine that way and I make sure that I do a pre-ride checkup every time I go for a tour which is going to involve me going out of the city so uh, I do not make any mistake so that my machine is in a good shape the machine is able to do things that I want it to do and keep me safe so let's have a look at what the 90 seconds pre-checkup So, uh, for simplifying your thing, we have uh, made this uh, process of checking five things before you go for a ride, like I said before. So, I have simplified it as A, B, C, D and E. A for air, B for bolts, C for controls, D for drive and E for earth. So, these are the five steps. Let's quickly have a look. What are these five? Okay. So, the first thing is the air. So, you need to have an air gauge and make sure that every, for every ride, you check the air which is the desired air for your bike and while you're doing that while you're at it make sure that you also do this so what you're looking for is a tring tring sound the tring tring sound will let you know that your rims are all right that means there is no problem with your rim so when you're traveling when you're going at a higher speed you shouldn't feel be feeling any wobbling effect now this should sound something like tring 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 That's about it. Do the same thing with the rear wheel and you're set to go for A, which is air. So guys, the next thing is B, which is bolts. Make sure that each and every bolt on your bike is well and tight. And uh, to do that, either you can do two ways. One is you actually take a spanner and a uh, Allen key and start climbing is all of them. Or the second easiest way to do this on a regular basis, stick a marker and you have to just mark this in the point so if anything moves you can know that these bolts are actually which have gotten loose and only those bolts are the ones which you have to touch the rest of them you don't need to so the third thing is controls this is very very critical so to do that we will check the electricals and we will check the brakes these are the three main things that uh, two main things that we have to uh, look for so the first thing that you're going to do is pull the brake in the front pull the rear brake and do this and Check. What this will help us is if my front wheels are uh, not working, so I'll move forward. If my rear wheels are not working, I'll move backward. And when you're doing this, you are basically checking whether to hear that sound, that one uh, ball bearing, if your ball bearings are broken. And the final thing, that is your controls. Make sure that you are checking each and every control from your indicators to your brake lights, to your headlights, to your dimmer and dipper, each one of them. And make sure that your hazard lights are working so for this you might have to take a walk around and take a so switch everything on and take a look around to see if all of them are working each one of them are working so that's about it that's how we check for the controls so the next thing is the drive now most of you will have chains some of you like Harley Davidson might even have a belt so make sure that your drive is wrong so this screw is almost one and a half inches so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it here and see if the gap is not less than that 
or not more than that so if that is the case that means your drive is perfectly balanced if it is looser if it's loose if you see that there's a huge gap between your this 1.5 and more that means you need to make sure that you go to a service center or a local garage and get the chain fixed and uh, while you while, while you're at it make sure that also you're checking for the grease it should be well greased it should be have the right amount of uh, lubricant to make sure that you don't get into some trouble when you are actually riding this is d so the last but not the least is e which is earth before you go for any ride please make sure that you are checking beneath your bike when i say earth it's not the whole earth it's the earth under your bike all you have to do is check this portion check this area and see if there is any uh, you know drops of uh, any kind of liquid any form of liquid now it's very critical to make sure that you're checking this you might have a broken uh, point or, your, or, or place from where the oil is leaking which is very typical for any Royal Enfield um, no offenses but yes Royal Enfield does uh, throw in a lot of uh, uh, liquids so please make sure that you're checking it it could be petrol it could be even coolant it even it could be even your brake oil it could also be your uh, engine oil please make sure that you're checking the earth under to make sure that there is nothing dripping if it is please make sure that you go to a service center immediately and ensure that that leakage is taken care of Without these, uh, you might get stranded in a highway. So these are typically the five things that you have to check before every ride. I'm sure you enjoyed the video and I would like to see more subscribers. It really motivates me to make better videos. And I hope you enjoyed this video and, and I would strongly recommend that you use this A, B, C, D and E check before every ride that you go for on the weekends. This will help you keep your partner, your bike uh, safe and uh, in a better condition. So. Please do subscribe to my channel and hit the like button and uh, spread the word. I'm a new YouTuber so I need more support. So please make sure that you do that and I'll be back next week with a much more interesting video mostly on bike hacks and a few reviews of the products that I use and which I also recommend to you. So have a great week ahead. See you next week again. Thank you.